Sorry, you can't bring alcohol in here. Hey, I've seen you on the telly. You're in a muppet, right? No food or drink to be consumed on the premises. What, the weapon's OK, yeah? Oh, sorry. Is that the same knife you stabbed that lady cop with? OK, get out. I ain't finished my shopping. I refuse to serve you, which means you're now trespassing. Get off my property. What's going on? What, is she eating on there too, yeah? Please leave. Well, it was just you stabbed her. Did you and your old lady take turns? Out. Huh? Don't touch me! <laughs> I told you not to touch me. Please! Oh. I'm sorry. Get out! Just get out! I told you not to touch me. If ever a likeness had you scraping the pockets of air Whatever you like when you came in Whatever you use, whatever you choose, whatever your acronym above you at a sad time like this, innit? But my mate sent a message for you. What mate's that? Uh, Nylon. Neil John's his real name is. Man, look, you don't understand, man. He's feeling really bad. He wants to tell you what really happened. sacred happen. anymore. This is a funeral, for God's sake. What is it with you animals? Listen, I know animal. No, well, I've got a message for your precious friend. You tell him, from me, I hope he dies in prison. Do you think you can remember that? I think you'd better leave, don't you? Is this? We got a fucking problem. Come on then. Where was I? You're gonna love this. <laughs> now, this, this is a little lesson in cement. <laughs> 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 In the general sense of the word, cement's a binder. Ah, it's a substance that sets and hardens independently. Binds materials together. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey, no. Traces back to the Romans. I think they used the term. Opus <laughs> Cementitia. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's this pub I know. Not, not the one I got beaten up in, it's a nicer one with carpets. I'm not going on a date with you, OK? I've got condoms. How romantic. Look, sorry, I, I don't know what to say, do I? Never been with no one classy before. OK, your x-rays are clear, so you can go. Listen, um, I've, uh, I've got some news about your mum. And it turns out that she didn't leave in a hurry after all. She gave the council two months' notice and moved. Hey? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, Liam. That 
that don't make sense. Where could she have moved to? The forwarding address is Sydney. You mean Sydney Crescent around the corner? No, as in Sydney the city. Where's that? Australia. You winding me up. Yeah, that's it. Now go around the left hand side on that one and don't forget your hand signals. What are you doing? I'm just taking a few pics. What of? Uh, you. I don't want them on Facebook. Yeah, don't worry, I don't want to put them on Facebook. So why are you taking them? Look, have a look. This is you a few weeks ago. This is you now. Delete them. You must be able to see the difference. Yeah, but... Are you not pleased? I am, but I want you to get rid of them. Why? Because I don't want anyone else seeing them. Well, they're my photos. They're on my phone. Yeah, but they're of me. What do you want them for? My project. What project? Well, I, I need something to put on my university application form to show I've done something outside of schoolwork. I thought you were doing this to help me. I have helped you, haven't I? I taught you to ride a bike. You're about to take your cycling proficiency test, and you've lost weight. That's quite an achievement, if I must say so myself. You're doing this to help you get into university? Well, yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, it doesn't seem like nothing. I thought you were doing this because... because we were mates. Mates? You thought I was doing this because I liked you? I'd have to be crazy to like you. People like you take everything there is in this world. Everything. So there's nothing left for the likes of me, and you still think we want you as friends? Why would we? I mean, what is there to like about you? You're an overprivileged, greedy, spoiled, self-important brat. My nan has to move in with us because people like you don't think chaps like us deserve anything but to get poorer. But you don't think it's your fault? Oh, no. How can it be? Because you and your people donate carrier bags full of tinned food from Waitrose so, so we can go grovel into the food bank for free food. We only have to pay of our pride, but of course there's no interest rates attached to humiliation, so you lot think we should just suck it up and be grateful. We live on the same planet, but you and your lot think it's okay to squander and waste away all the resources like you own several planets. And yes, I am grateful to your mum for paying my nan and letting us have those leftovers, the crumbs from your table. But no one can pay me to like you. Because you were born to have everything, and I was born to have nothing. And hang on, before you tell me to get over it, I will. What? I, uh, I think you've got something that belongs to me. Nah. Come on, don't be silly. Find us keepers. Don't just hand it over. Nah, you're gonna have to go call the cops. Go on. Um, leave it. He's trying to rob you. I don't care. Uh, I've got your phone now, I ain't giving it back. Okay then, you keep hold of it. I just want to go home. I didn't think you have one anymore, mate. I mean, young offenders where all my mates are, innit? Oh, come on, what sort of a future is that? You not worked it out yet. I haven't got a future. I'm a total loser. Even my mum's given up on me. I'm sure I can get you some help. Go on, let me try. What kind of help? I don't know yet, do I? Blimey, can I get a chance? You hungry? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So why don't we go and have a sauna and a cup of tea and we'll have a little chat? What'd you say?
good lad. Go on, put your bag up. Come on. Man. <laughs> 